Welcome everyone to another Coding Cleverly video. Today's video's topic is about sorting. Before going over to one of the sorting algorithms, like the one that I'm gonna be talking about today is the insertion sort algorithm, which is one of the classical algorithms to sort any kind of data set. I want to discuss what is sorting and why is it so useful. Now, like we discussed previously in our video about linear search and binary search, we knew the drawbacks of what linear search could do and what why binary search is more uh, preferable and the reason behind that is that it's super duper fast now I'm talking about 2x speed now 2 would be smaller too because linear search as the data set grows exponentially it becomes harder and longer and ex and slower and when binary search compared to binary search it becomes super fast and the reason behind that is that in binary search the data set is sorted and sorted meaning it could be sorted in uh, ascending order it could be sorted in descending order it can be sorted alphabetically now you could decide what kind of sorting method you want to adopt now what i'm going to be discussing here is the insertion sort algorithm and uh what i want to do is that i'm basically going to be writing a code snippet First, I'm gonna be writing all the code for the insertion sort, and then after that, I'm gonna be discussing and after that, explaining what the code basically does. So let's get our hands dirty and start writing the code. So the first thing that I wanna do is that I wanna create a new file. Now, you have my untitled one. So I have this pound symbol, and let me just save this to some kind of random file. So I'm just gonna call this as selection sort, and let's say one. Okay, so this is my selection sort.txt file. And remember, I didn't have to do a text file. So let me just do that again. And now I'm gonna have to save this to something else. So let me just call this as selection sort um, 2.cpp. Okay, awesome. Now we have a C file created. And now what I wanna do is I wanna type out my IO stream header file. So hash include input output stream. And now let's include um, the using namespace standard. All right, so now after that we have the main. Basically we need the boilerplate code ready for us. Awesome. So now that that is done, let's create our first function. The first function that we're gonna be needing is that we have to swap the elements. Now, for instance, if, I have, if I'm searching through an array and I have to sort it, right, in ascending order, that's what I'm gonna try to do, is basically if I have an array, like for instance, I have some random numbers, um, let's say 10, um, and then we have 29 and then we have 49 whatever 95 and you could see that this uh, is basically sorted all right so if I have something like 100 over here or yeah 100 over here now I want to sort this from 29 then 49 then 95 and 100 and you could see that sorting is basically the next number being um, greater or equal to the number so you could have like two 29s in here as well so we want something like this something like that but before but this should be excluded and should be at the end so basically um, like that so this is how we want the sorting to be adopted so for that I'm gonna use a sort um, a swap function and we did this before too so basically what uh, the swap function will do is basically has a return type of void the name is swap it would have an integer array so it's basically an integer array it has a variable X and it has a variable Y and what's it gonna do is basically have a temporary variable which is temp and what's it gonna do is that it's gonna sign it with a variable a so it's gonna say a X and now it's gonna have the a X and that will be the value of Y and the value of Y will be equaling to the value of temp so we're gonna have the both names swapped here Okay, after this is now that we need to create another function. The other function that we need to create is gonna be called the selection sort function, the main process inside of this. So for instance, we have void selection sort, and I'm gonna have a parameter which is array. Okay, we're gonna pass in an array and we're gonna pass the size of the array. In that particular case, what we did is basically have one of the values and the other value so many, meaning we're searching through array and we're looking for the smallest value and we're swapping the two elements. So we start, like we'd say it's a starting position and then we're sw uh, searching through the array. If we find the two elements, we just swap them to see that the 
um, the larger number will be in the first place and the smaller number and it will make sense later so just believe me and trust me just keep on typing along with me so after this now let's talk about selection sort how we're gonna do this is basically let's have um, a starting point over here as zero because we know that in arrays are zero indexed and they're gonna start from zero zero to location so we have I and then it's less than n minus one because we're basically having the size and then the size minus one is going to be the last element so it's going to be less than the last element in this while particular case and we're going to have a j location and that's what we have to find so we're basically going from the start and we're going downwards to our through our array if i look at a graphical representation and we're checking if that a j exists that has a larger value a smaller value than the one that has in the beginning so if it's a smaller value it would be assigned to j and it would swap over here and call the swap function so if i have something like location of smallest so s m a l e s t and now what i'm going to do inside of this is they pass in my value so i would say array and then i would pass in the value of um, i which is my starting and then i would pass in my last value which is n minus one now location of smallest is not existing and we have to create this function which is going to detect what is the smallest location and then after what it would do is basically swap it using this function that we made over here so we just say a and then the value of i and then it would have the value of j because we're already defined over here and then after that we know that we have to increment the i value so this is our selection sort function what we're going to do after this is the location of smallest so let me have that defined over here on the top so what it's going to do is return a j right it has to return a smaller value in the array so it's going to have a return type of int i'm going to call this as location of smallest and what we have we have an array inside of it um, we have an array as starting point and we have an array ending point okay now what it does is basically it has an i and we'll assign it with s okay so the starting point will be um whatever the starting is say we because it's uh, definitely going to change it's not always going to be on zero uh when you increase the i meaning it could go to one two three four all the way to the end of the array so and and j will start from i as well so we'd say now j is going to be starting from i and this is also going to be changing and this is going to be telling us what is the smallest value so it's say while um i is less than equal to e and this is meaning that the this means that the i value is going to be less than equal to the last element so basically the last indexed over here so it's just going to loop through the entire array and we're going to say if that the array sub i meaning that array the array that you find the current one is less than a sub j if this is possible right if it is true then what you want to do is reassign i j to the value of i so if you find a value that is basically j having uh, a smaller value than i then what you do is basically assign that to j okay assign that value and then what we do is basically have i is equal to i plus one or just say i um plus plus if you're in c plus plus anyways then after that when we're done with this loop we just return j right here okay so this is the location of smallest function done and we have this selection sort done as well we have a swap function on the top we need one more function that would just display our content so i would have a void display and what it would do is basically um have that array inside of it so let me just have an array and what's it going to have is that's the size of the array so let's just have n as a size okay so it's going to start from i and it's going to have a while loop inside of it so i'll say y is less than n and it's going to loop through the value so it's just going to say console output the value of array i and then it's going to have this comma over here and it's just going to keep on going 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 it's going to be incrementing i and then after that when it's done it's just going to give an end line over here just right there just to make the format a little more prettier and 
let's create an array over here in the main function. So I create an array, I would say array, let's say ARR to be a little different. Um, and put some random numbers inside, let's say 10, 102, this, let's make a smaller number, um, let's make a larger number, let's make a more smaller number, just random numbers I'm putting inside. And let me just duplicate some numbers too as well, 29, 49, whatever it is, 19. Okay, so this is my array, I just randomly created it. I want to first call my sh display functions to see if it's working properly. So what I could do is basically have the size specified too as well. So let me say size, and I'm gonna say size of, so size of um, the value of array. Um, and this is the whole size, which is gonna be, uh, it's gonna be something because there's integers, so four, 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 all of them. And then after that, size of the value of int. And this is gonna give us the size. So now let's have the sh display function to just see how this thing works. So we have a display function, we have an array that we have to specify inside, and then we have a size function to show what size is it. Now hopefully we'll get this thing printed out on our terminal screen. Now if I play this button, let's see. We have the uh, array printed out, 102, and this is unsorted arrays, right? This is unsorted. Now let's pass in the array to our sort selection sort function. So selection sort function, and the selection sort is asking for that array and also the size. So it's now gonna be inside of it. Now, uh, I made a typo here, I had to say array. Okay, so now it's gonna be passed inside and let's call the display function once again. So let's just call it with the size and now hopefully we'll see that it will be sorted. So let me just play this button and you can see over here that 102, this was unsorted, and once it passed into this, it had 10, 19, 24, 29, 29, 49, 102, 292, 499. Okay, awesome, it worked. This is how the selection sort process worked. Now, let's go behind the scenes and see what actually happened. So for instance, I had this array, examine that we had an array, and we passed in the size function, the, so you understood how this worked. Basically, you got the whole element, so whatever elements are inside, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 11 multiplied by four, 44, divided by the size of int, which is four, and it gave us the size, which was 11, and that put, us, uh, that, put that value in the size variable, and then after that, we had this display function, which is pretty simple, has the array inside, and then the size in starts from zero all the way to the value all the way n minus one and then it just displays it out and then we go and do the selection sort process selection sort over here accepts an array has a size n starts from zero goes from i all the way to n minus one which is the last elements previous location and then we have the j so we have uh, J and we have to assign it with the location of smallest because we're searching the array and looking for the smallest value and we're gonna put that as the J value. So it, what it does is basically calls this additional function which is called location of smallest, having that same array, having an I because array are passed through a reference, right? So they're reference pointer. So it's just passed through reference. We have I over here and N minus one. So if I pass this thing over here, I'm gonna have to swap it. So let's go to location of smallest, which is right here. We have an array. We have the small s, int s, and we have the end e. Um, because we had this location i over here, the current location, meaning uh, for this case it was zero, but the next case it could ch change to, let's say it could change to one or two. So it's just gonna be keep on changing. N minus one is gonna be keep on changing as well because the sizes keep on uh, decreasing. And you would have this location over here where i is equal to s, and then we have j is equal to i, and what we do is basically find the smallest by using this while loop, while i is less than equal to end, end of the function. And if it says that we find a j that is, um, I will preferably say smaller, so it's say a sub i is less than, some kind of value is less than a sub j, so that j is um, actually larger than the a sub i. What we could say is basically j is equal to i, and we just increment it and keep on incrementing until the whole thing is so uh, found out and we return the value of j over here, um, the, the value that was so needs to be swapped and then we uh, swap it using this a i j swapping over here which is temp a x, a x and a y, a y and temp, Re pretty simple, pretty straight to the point and we increment it plus plus until the whole e exact damn array is sorted. So that was um, selection sort, I hope you like this I hope you like this code. Uh, I'm gonna link this code to my repo on GitHub. 
so you can copy paste modify whatever you want to do with it and um, if you like this video please show, make sure to subscribe to the channel like the video and share it to your friends that's all with this video i will see you guys in the next one peace out